1,000 brands. Save $20 off your purchase of $100 or more. Go to famous-smoke.com and use code FRESHNESS or text FRESHNESS to 511511. Famous Smoke Shop does not sell tobacco products to anyone under the age of 21 or the minimum age in your local jurisdiction. Whichever is higher. Message and data rates may apply. You may receive up to one additional text. Text stop to opt out. Freedom is vital to a business owner like you. And having the right capital from capitalists can give you that freedom. Freedom to take action when business needs you to. Don't let a lack of financing prevent you from running your operations, purchasing new equipment, or expanding your business. Capitus Financing could be the answer you're looking for. Head over to Capitus.com today and see what options we have for you. That's K-A-P-I-T-U-S dot com. Capitus.com. Hi, I'm Kathy Hill, founder of Tax Tiger. If you happen to have unfiled or unpaid taxes, Tax Tiger can protect you from the IRS, release wage and bank levies, and negotiate awesome settlements. Above all, Tax Tiger is a company which operates based on Christian principles. If you have an IRS problem, call us today at 1-800-IRS-9196 for a free consultation. 1-800-IRS-9196 or visit us online at TaxTiger.com. We want to impress you just as much as we're looking for you to impress us. We are Paul Davis Restoration, industry-leading professionals committed to servicing people in need after a disaster strikes their home or business, and we want you to join us. Find training at our International Training Center. Great pay and solid benefits. But not only that. Difference makers helping people in their moment of need. Go to pauldavis.com slash careers and become a difference maker. I just go A ballooning crisis at the southern border. More than 16,000 migrant crossings since Saturday. 16,000, today's Monday, 16,000 since Saturday. Think about that. And the warnings of a major surge, as if that isn't one, in illegal crossings when Title 42 expires next week. In moments, Carl Rove, but first to correspond to film illusion on the ground in Mission, Texas, for us. Hi, Bell. Hi, Monica. Good afternoon to you. Border Patrol reports that in just the El Paso sector over the three days, they have averaged more than 2,400 illegal guard. crossings per day. And take a look at what happened in El Paso last night. Take a look at this stunning video our team oh. shot. One of the the biggest mass crossing we have ever witnessed during our Fox News border coverage. This was a large migrant caravan of well over 1,000 people who crossed illegally into uh, El Paso uh, Sunday night. You can see way wave of these migrants just walking across the river going over to the u.s side before lining up and you'll see in that video that line at times goes as far as the eye can see it was cold outside some of those migrants started campfires in an effort to stay warm but cbp sources telling us that they've got more than five thousand people in custody now in started how did those migrants get there take a look at the second piece of video real quick they were bust in 20 Mexican police escort driving in to Ciudad Juarez yesterday. They were dropped off at NGOs, released, then they left and went straight down to the river and back out here live. Martha, you said it off the top. 16,000 illegal crossings in the last two days alone nationwide. That's 8,000 per day, and Title 42 hasn't dropped yet. Okay. Well, we have no border uh, at the southern border. Okay, Bill, thank you very much. Joining me now, Carl Rowe, former Deputy Chief of Staff to President George Bush and American Crossroads, co-founder and advisor and Fox News contributor. Carl, good to have you here. You know, you know people say to me, why doesn't someone ask President Biden what he to do to, to, to stop this? What does he plan to do about this problem? What do you think he would say? I think his policy is to ignore it. His uh, Homeland Security Secretary went out and said the border is secure. Let's take a look at this, Martha. Think about this. Hard to get our hands around this. 2020, fiscal year 2020, that ended the end of September of 2020. There were 458,000 encounters at the border. That's how many people were taken into custody. 2021, first year that Biden was in office, jumps to a million three. 2022 goes to nearly a million, uh, 2.4 million. That, that is a 519% increase in just a few short years. And is it continuing? Absolutely it's continuing. Take a look at what happened in October. 